Welcome back for another week of word of mouth, mental health, talking relationships, friendship, career, like, and subscribe to our channel. You can also email us link in the description for advice or anything you need help with. This week we'll be starting a series. It's going to be probably a relatively short one discussing relationships. And the example we're going to use is August Alcina. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah, that's how you pronounce his name. I had to Google it. <laughs> but yeah, this is we're going to use him and I guess his whole Jada Pinkett relationship or not relationship or whatever they had going on. To be honest, it doesn't matter one way or another. We're going to use him as a perfect example of the do's and don'ts of a relationship. And we're going to start with social media. I have this rule about social media when it comes to dealing with your partner. If you don't have anything nice to say, do not say it at all. It's the easiest way to go about social media when it comes to dealing with your partner. Even if you're upset with your partner, you probably should stray away from it because you might say things on a subconscious level that you're not even realize you're doing. So that's my rule about social media. Now let's say everything he did wrong with that. First off, if you are a side piece in any type of capacity, you should not be on social media promoting your relationship as if y'all are exclusive or what so have it. You shouldn't be if you are a side piece. In that situation, if he was a side piece, he knew he was a side piece. There's, there's no way he didn't know about Will and Jada. I mean, he kind of said Will gave his blessing. Whether that's true or false, who knows? But regardless, he knew he was a side piece. So when you go into that situation and you know that's what you are or what you're going to be, don't get in your head that you're going to be some main later or that you're going to be, you know, the top tier, regardless of what the person says, man or woman, don't believe the hype. You are there for one purpose and one person only purpose only entertainment how long that entertainment lasts is up to you you know i'd say use contraceptive be careful because you know things like that can come out of it that you may not want to come out of it you really shouldn't be doing it at all but you know some people do have that type of relationship where you know it is an open relationship we'll discuss that later on in the series but yeah it's it's social media it's Really for entertainment, you can do things if you have a business or, you know, uh, donations or what so have it to do promotions or whatnot. But it's really just entertainment. Everybody shouldn't know every time you get a new car or a new house or this or that. And don't get get me wrong, you should be proud of your accomplishments. But at the same time, you know, just some people just share too much. You can say a whole lot of something, but a whole lot of nothing at the same time on shit, on social media and still have fun with it. Or learn to do what like Jay-Z and Drake do in their music. Send subliminals to that person so they know. Another aspect of social media, some of you like to play the victim in your relationships after it's over. And let's just be clear, for the ones outside looking looking at it, you look like the problem every single time. It's one thing if it's every once in a while or like maybe if it's just ended, people are like, all right, you're hurt. We get it. But if you're doing this months, years after it's over, you're it's going to be clear to everybody that you're the problem because it's like this person probably done moved on, had a whole nother life, did this or did that. And you're still dwelling on it. Not to say, you know, people heal in their own time, but at the same time, it's like go to therapy if it's that bad. Social media is not a therapy book, you know, like it, and it essentially isn't not to say you can't find good advice on there, but some of you just drag it out or just look, I don't know, looking for attention or whatever it's habit. It's just, it becomes excessive. And a lot of, I see a lot of people who like to do that. A relationship will be over and you'll talk about how horrible this person is or this or that. And there's always three sides to a story, your side, their side, and the truth. A lot of times. And arguments is arguments aren't even about, you know, people aren't arguing about the same thing. I mean, a friend of mine, we had this uh, conversation the other day. 
men and women tend to argue about different things when they're arguing. Arguing. One's usually arguing about their emotions, and one's usually arguing about the reality of the situation. You know, and apologies should always be warranted. Even if you don't understand why you're apologizing, that person may have felt some type of way about the situation. Now, I'm not saying apologize for everything because that can become a problem too, where the person just feels like they're just a victim all the time. I'm not saying that, but you can apologize for how you say things, but not what you said. Because a lot of times what you're saying is the truth. It just may not be the best way to say it. So that's my thing on social media. And this is just some advice to men. Something I had to learn. Learn to like without double tapping. And I say this because we as men, we'll see. Let's say we see 15 girls. We'll double tap on all these pictures. Your wife, spouse, or significant other could ask you about those 15 posts you liked three minutes later and you'll be like you'll have no idea what she's talking about or he's talking about you won't because it's just not it doesn't mean anything to you beyond what you saw at that moment and that was like a split second but for them it could be a lifetime because you could be liking pictures where the person doesn't look like them they don't resemble them they could think you aspire to be somewhere else they can think you just an option instead of you know like a a choice, you know, they, they can think a lot of different things and overthinking, you know, overthinking is a, a idle mind is the devil's playground, and that's pretty much what happens. So that's why I just say, just learn to double tap without liking or just change your whole social media. You shouldn't be following every girl that's butt naked online or, or influencer or, or this or that anyway, because all it does is dilute your mind, learn to follow things you like, like sports and maybe art or hobbies you may want to get into like wood shop or i don't know gardening things of that nature when you change your perspective of what you follow on social media everything changes about you as well too because your mind changes because of what you're digesting mentally every day but that's just my rule learn to double tap without liking i still do it sometimes because it's a habit but learn to do that because it doesn't matter you can like it could be one girl and you could like 15 cars the old lady will notice that one girl that you like, and she'll go back to see how many other pictures you like of hers. They do that. Why? I don't know. Why is it that significant? I couldn't tell you, but you can't tell other people how to feel. So that's just what it is. So that's all I got to say about social media. And privacy, you know, just that's what I got to say about it. So like, subscribe to our channel. Um, The link to... Email us for advice is down below. Peace. Mm. <laughs>